If you're very lucky, then you might be looking at the best deck ever. If you're not so lucky, you probably shouldn't play this deck, because today we're playing more Priest of Possibility, just to reiterate what it does here. When he enters the battlefield, you look at the top 7 cards. If a card among them has flying, he gets flying. The same is true for first strike, double strike, death touch, haste, hexproof, indestructible, lifelink, madness, protection, reach, trample, vigilance, and then shuffle. So the idea is, of course, we need some defensive abilities, such as indestructible and hexproof. How do we get them? Indestructible we can get easily from lands, so that's not too difficult. Then we can get hexproof from, for instance, striped riverwinder, which has hexproof. We also have nightfell predator. Probably the worst one, because we can't cycle it, we just have to play it. But these are the sources of Hexproof. Then how do we actually connect with this guy? Do we give him Menace? No flying? Nah, I mean, they might still just block. So I, the easiest way i found with this guy to connect to actually deal damage is to give him both Death Touch and Trample. Because if you didn't though, if you, own, if you have both Death Touch and Trample, you only need to have assigned one damage per creature, and then you can assign the rest to your opponent. Which is super duper good, it's almost like unblockable, except you deal one less damage. So, we have things which give death touch, as for instance, Void Beckoner, which has death touch, and we can just cycle the grid up. This guy also has death touch, so it's another way of getting death touch. Then we of course want double strike also, because why not deal a little extra damage. So Lysel Get Yankee Warrior has double strike, and so too does Captain Eberhart. But then, here's how it comes together. Then this guy, or girl, it's a Gith Warrior, and this guy is a Core Cleric, which means we can mutate on them. On them. And then we have Sotask Demolisher, which gives Trample. This guy also gives Trample. Whenever this creature mutates, destroy a target non-creature permanent, its controller creates a 3-3 green beast creature token. So what's so amazing about this guy is, of course, it buffs this guy up to a 6 possibly double strike 6 which is really good. It has Trample, and also we can destroy our own lands, because they are indestructible, we just get a 3-3 out of this. Which is amazing. Also, it's amazing to mutate on Lysel Gith Yankee Warrior. Because she has double strike. And yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, we have Trample Death Touch. Uh, Skyclave Relic, because our mana base is not the best ever. <laughs> Let's jump into the games. It's time to roll the die, everybody. Let's see. Let's see if we can hit good. We just need a couple of keywords. Oh, this is horrible. Uh, yep, 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 yep. This is a mulligan. This is good. It is perfect. Okay, keep. We want as much hexproof as possible. Uh, I'm fine going double priest. Double priests and then maybe mutating on one. <laughs> that could be triple, triple priest. Okay, that is a big library though. You should never compare libraries. I mean, it's so silly to compare libraries. Such a silly. Uh, I should never do that. Okay, let's look. Double strike. Did we get... Uh, we did get trampled. We did not get... In, we did get indestructible. Good. Okay. Double strike, indestructible, trample. I uh, didn't get death touch. If I was to complain about something, it's that we didn't get death touch there. Didn't get it. But that might be fine. Anyway, maybe. 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 We'll see. Okay. Triple manas, though. Uh, I mean, I think we just put down this guy. Come on, hit the even better than the last guy. Okay, there's Trample. There's Double Strike. There's Trample again. There's Indestructible. Double Indestructible. I mean, these guys are doing pretty well, no? Smack in. All of them hit Double Strike, don't they? That is kind of nice. I do like that. Indestructible Trample. Nice. So next turn... Mutate! Sawtusk Demolish. I've never played this card before. Never ever have I ever. Okay. Okay, no. Death touch, dude. Down on the ground. Well, we have to play the third one, don't we? Play the third one! Come on, hit even better! Uh, trample! Indestructible! Uh, yep, I mean, we hit the destructible with all of them. That's the most important part. Hexproof is just a bit of gravy on top there, I think. A little bit of gravy. Okay. He blocks there, that is uh, him not reading the cards, I think. Okay, he's down to 11. He's facing down a horde of Priest of Possibilities. An absolute million of them. Million gazillion. Oh! Hmm? Is this a mulligan? On the other hand, we have the madness. If we find a blue land with this. Ah, everybody, come on. Yes! Yes! You go back into the library. Okay, good. 
That's how we do it. <laughs> My god. It's priest last game, it's priest this game. Good. Come it. Uh, everything now with the priest. Can we do a full sweep with the priest? Come on, full sweep. Everything with the priest. Everything. Uh, double strike, trample. Uh, indestructible. And did not get hexproof, but that's maybe fine. We'll see. See what he has here. He might have a bound spell or something, though. He is kind of dangerous, though. To be fair. Okay. Evolving Wilds. Making up. Again, we're not gonna compare. <sighs> I know that this certain things. I have certain things that are good about me. Certain things, certain advantages. I was not bored with a big library. That is. Uh, that's just the simple truth. We got a faithful mending. Uh, these two can probably go. Oh, do we want trample on this? That, that, that's maybe not gonna happen. We'll do this. Decline. Smack a medium. Boom! Boom! 16. Raise the freaking possibility. He did already have trample, by the way. <laughs> I read it and saw that he didn't have trample. That's a good card, Eric. Sorry. In this particular case, that card is actually really good. <laughs> Frogify. Sometimes having rare, weird removal is just really good. We could go Lazel into Sawtas Demolisher, which I think could be pretty good. And yeah, just Smack, Badank, Badoon, and Bashnoon. Maybe. No, sorry. Eight, though. Is he now gonna target this? No, an okay adversary. Unfortunately for him, though, there's gonna be a mutation in the station. <laughs> uh, we're gonna mutate over, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing right there. He gets a 3 3. But that is just absolutely finally runers. Smack him. Mm hmm. Box there. It takes uh, 12. Uh, plus one. Because this also a trample. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yep. Uh, what happens now if we do this, by the way? Oh, they come back like this, okay. <laughs> I didn't even know that's what happened, okay. Now I know we got him. So you know what I've started liking? Mulliganing. It's worked so far, but just because I said it now, it's not gonna work. Or is it? Freaking worked! Okay, keep. Uh, what do we ship though? Captain Ebhart? Maybe? Captain? Yep. Ship up. Don't need him. Captain, my captain, I don't need you. <laughs> That's my version of that thing. Uh, yep, put down this. Let's see that. I, I know we shouldn't compare, but it's like it's getting embarrassing for me. It's getting very embarrassing, and I don't like it, okay? Put down this. Put it down. Death touch, hexproof, indestructible. Uh, we actually need the trample thing. We actually need the, uh, need the double strike also. Hmm. That doesn't even have double strike, that thing, Chris. I know. I know it doesn't have double strike. You don't even tap your mana for it, is okay. Sure. That's fine. Uh, that's fine, sir. Uh, we play you. Normal mode. And, uh, yeah, yeah, smack. Stop! Stop! Now and when he has that, uh... I mean, just a little yawn, I guess, a little bit. To be fair. Okay. Seek a land card. Mm-hmm. An Ilandio. Uh, do we specialize? What happens if you specialize white? Let's see what happens. But down you. Let's uh, have a check and look at you. Uh, seek a non land permanent one of the two. That's really actually exactly what I want to do. Uh, or. Who is card in your hand? No, that, that, that's Dinkle Dinkers. Oh, we can, all, do, 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 do. we can just do that with the temple card. On. Okay, that's good. You don't even think about how amazing this card is. Perfect synergy! Perfect synergy! Lysel! Uh, 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 Lysel! <laughs> That's a good song, okay. Uh, Actually, only if you can do six or more lands. Probably 
don't know what's an idea with this, but okay. I mean, it has a big library, so I'm up to a smack talk, okay. I mean, maybe it fits. Other than this, it fits perfectly into the deck. That's possible. If you cast a Seeker land card with a basic land, this is pretty good, though. You like, get a 2-2 two -two on the ground. Uh, what does it uh, turn into? Leukemia? No. Leukamina? Okay. Other creatures you can only get plus one plus one. When it dies, it unspecializes. Uh, why would it do Okay, sure. Oh, he plays this though. Okay, now he's a boss. Okay. Okay, now we know. Oh, this is pretty good though, because now he targets Lysel and gets rid of her. No, he didn't. Okay. He could have gotten rid of this thing, but he didn't. He chose not to. Myla, whenever an opponent attacks one or more planes with Ginkgo, put a loyalty counter on each planes with Ginkgo. Ah, that touching struggle will be really, 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 really want to put a trample counter on. I mean, both of them. In all seriousness, both of them. But we can go in with both. It puts two counters on this guy, and I will see what he does because we can cycle that thing at any point. Right? Go in. Yeah. Gets two loyalty counters. Is he now gonna block with something? Blocks there, but that is when we gain trample. Cycle! Yeah. And opponent controls, yes, good. That's also important here. Because, oh, uh, 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 uh. game, don't lag out. Don't lag out. I think, no, game crashes, no. Ah, it's all these big libraries, you know. <laughs> Close the program. We're not gonna contact Microsoft, I've already done that. He said that that's his top priority right now. Getting classic M3 Arena is on top of the list of Microsoft priorities right now. That and also keeping it a secret about the aliens on Antarctica. These are the two priorities. <laughs> you, you never heard that. You never heard that. Uh, Punk Town TV. That's the guy we were playing. Okay. Yep. Put a plus canooter or a trample canooter on this. Oh, ho, ho, isn't that a sort of demolisher? That is indeed a sort of demolisher. Bop, bop, but now, oh, hit good, hit good, hit good. That's a double strike, indestructible, trample. Yep, yep, decent. Didn't hit as good as this tank. Right, but that's fine, that's fine. You don't always hit perfect, you know? You don't always hit perfect. Actually. Rith! It's gonna do some Arith. Okay. Other dragons have ward, yeah? Scary, scary. Uh, we're gonna be mutilating on this guy. And over. Over and over and over. Yeah, we can do this, but actually. <laughs> You just get a 3 there, didn't even- Wow! The synergies in this deck, they're absolutely amazing! And... 3 attackers, good. Main the synergies though. Gotta say, they're pretty good. Oh, he has something for 1 blue? Plus 1 hexproof? No? No? Alright, Myla. Crafty companion. I mean, this thing though, Sawtusk demolishes Skyclave Relic. Wait, can this work with the lands also? Because they're artifacts? What does it say exactly? Is it non... Uh, destroy target non-creature permanent? Oh, so this works with the lands also. Was oh, so the Sawtusk Demolisher is just the best card ever? Because you can use it on yourself, and you can use it on your own lands, which are indestructible. My god, Sawtusk... I'm so smart! I didn't even know I was this smart! I didn't even know. Okay. That's a lot of damage. Lot of damage. Wait, why didn't this die, by the way? The creature planeswalker. Got him. Zero skill, only luck. <laughs> Man, we got to the priest three games in a row. Can we get a fourth one? Fourth game, fourth game. Yep. Yep. Now is when I have that uh, Liliana or any discard spell which can discard a creature. Then it kind of gets us, maybe. But I don't think so. <laughs> I think so. I think, I, I think, I think it's gonna be good. Planes. Flying Vigilance. Maybe we play that. To get Flying Vigilance. Nah. 
It is an angel though, so it's actually kind of useful. Uh, let's see, a death touch, indestructible, trample. Good, didn't get death touch here, we almost hit death touch. Oh, it get, did hit death touch, I'm, I'm kidding, oh my god, it's perfect. It's the exact set of skills that I wanted on this card. Ooh, ooh, yeah, how do you get rid of this one? How do you get rid of this one, buddy? How? Uh, in white, it's... Farewell. Farewell, I can get rid of it. Uh, can you cycle this? Put a trample counter on it. Now it doubly has trample. If it didn't have trample before, main does he have trample now, no? Okay. I should probably have done that first, because then we could have played this. This time, but... As per usual, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. Okay. Replicate Unging, yep. Oh, that's a demolisher. That's a big boy. Okay, uh, yep. Yep, yep. You are in trouble now, sir. And we can destroy. I actually kind of want to just get a 3 3. That's fine. In case he has something which can interact with our deck. We don't want that. My god, this is just the perfect specimen. The perfect creature. Look at this guy. And it's not that difficult to get off on, I'm sorry. Well, this is the fourth game. Uh, you know, still. <laughs> still! Okay, Segovian. Yeah, he's just smacking in. One damage at a time. Uh, do you want to get a big boy? I don't think so. I think this guy. On pay! No! Get down! On the ground! Big damage coming in! <laughs> up, up. Okay. Did we have double strike? Oh, I thought we had double strike on this. Even when we didn't deal double strike damage, I still thought we had double strike somehow, some way. Okay. Yep, that's an angel. That's an angel, all right. That's an angel. I've seen him before. They look exactly like that. Is it possible? Fifth game in a row. Is it possible? Fifth game. Priest. Fifth game. We're gonna get him five times in a row. They didn't get him. Five times in a row. Uh, I need to cycle a little bit to get out of this one. I will explore a hand without it. It's been going pretty well anyways. So let's see how we do if we don't have the priest. How are we gonna fare down? We've got a six on one lands. Great dragon. Okay. Schneigel this. Schneigel this and schneigel that. Schnikel everybody! Schnikel everything! Are you gonna schnikel? <laughs> the rhythm, Chris, yeah, I know. <laughs> what is that rhythm? Is it 3, 2, 4, 1? No, 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 it's just... Just the best rhythm. When it's the best rhythm, you don't need proper rhythm. Just... Have you seen that movie, Whiplash? <laughs> that teacher would have killed me. <laughs> If I came to one of his lessons, it'd be like... <laughs> Chris's sense of rhythm was just the worst! Ayaron uh, 80. Okay. Dragon's Breakers wanted... Oh my god, I think he, this guy likes dragons. That's what I think. Now we're getting a little bit punished for not mulliganing. Why didn't I mulligan though? But on the other hand, we didn't have to prove that we can do it without mulligan. We just... <laughs> That's a simple Nightfell Predator. Simple. Ooh, this card. Man, I want to play with this card. I, I've, I've eyed this every, every time someone has played this, I've been like, wow, that is a really cute ability. Do we now go and just get the biggest hexproofer there ever was? Because we could do that. And maybe we do. I mean, he's a big boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big dude. If we can get lifelink on this thing, I'll be good. I'll be pretty good. I don't think red has any way of getting rid of this, ever. So that's good. On the other hand, he does have flyers, which is kind of good for him. We could also just play this and the next turn invoke justice, put the counters on this, because that would probably be better in like almost every case. Fortunately, okay? Now, his dragon's gonna be dirt freaking cheap at this point. Two turns of this, or when, when does this happen? We need upkeep, okay, so, uh, okay, they're one cheaper now. But 
give it another turn and the two cheaper and another turn and the three cheaper. And you can play this with changelings also. That's what I've been thinking about doing. Especially that changeling for three manas. Imagine this scenario. Oh my god, hello. Uh, okay, flying haste. He's a big boy. That's all we know about him. Yeah. Yeah, they come in. Big damage. We kind of need a Night Vale Predator. Uh, which we can't play because we don't have... Oh, we have black here. Black? Blue, Chris. Yeah, we don't have... <laughs> okay, we'll do this. Cycle this. Find the perfect land that we need. Not even a problem. That is actually a land that we need, but actually didn't work out anyways. But now they're trample counter on you. Uh, cycle main. <laughs> now it's just nothing goes according to plan. No. <sighs> kind of dead there, I think, but <laughs> it kind of dead. I would probably should have kept that, but screw it. <sighs> okay. So now we know if you don't have priest with mulligan. Now we've learned that. The thing is, you learn from these experiences. I mean, some people will learn from these experiences. Uh, does this have trample? Uh, no, doesn't. So we're not starting to do. We're still alive some other way. Okay. I don't know how that happened. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go another one, because why not? Man, if we just had something which could do something. <laughs> There's something except a striped riverwinder. I mean, if this was just a little bit bigger, though, <clears throat> to be fair, if we draw and invoke justice there, we'd we'll almost kill him. Yeah, except we got a block with this. Okay, it's down to two. Okay. <laughs> Cut on. Cut on. Come on, play a big dragon, though. You had this for three turns. Surely you have a big dragon. Is this the biggest thing you have? It's pretty good with Shivan Devastator, actually. If this can sit there for like ten turns, which is a long time, but if it can, you know. Yeah, that is two damage. For each opponent. No! Hmm, okay. Okay. We have priest. We have priest, that's all we need. Just need to hit good. If we hit Indestructible Hexproof Double Strike, then we're fine, because we can get all the other abilities from these things. Right. And we're in good shape. Oh red is perfect. Because they probably can't deal with this if it gains indestructible. Uh Indestructible Death Touch, Hexproof. Yeah, we got everything. Ex Except no double strike. Back! Ah! Fine. Uh, he does have trample, does have death touch. Uh, do we cycle this anyways? Just because it's not doing anything in our hand anyways. Put plus counter on there. Oh, that's the Tusky boy. So Tusk Demolisher! I mean, this honestly right here, this combo I will play again. My god, this is good. So Tusk Demolisher, Priest of Possibility. This is good. With an indestructible land on top, so you get a 3-3 also. Oh, so much power! Okay, it's gonna double. Double the troubles. Uh, well, but then you. Do a little bit of mutation in the station. He's now a big boy. And do we just... Nah, I don't think we destroy that. I think we just get a 3-3 and just... Oh! I'm broke. Wait, can wait? Destroy target, no, we, we can destroy lands with this? I didn't even, oh, well, I did just do that, but... We can destroy our opponent's lands with this! That's pretty good. Wait, we can just have the best land destruction deck ever? Ever, 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 ever? Ever, ever, ever? Um, Are we gonna cycle Void Beckoner? I think so. We cycle Void Beckoner. Or pipe. Put the Canoodle on you. I'm not gonna waste something on this beast here. Okay, go in. Out of six. Yeah, so Task Demolisher plus uh, this dude. Uh, that's just the combo, I think, for the future. That's just something we have to play again. This is just so freaking good. So freaking good. Don't have the priest. I think that, I mean, we have Captain Ebhart, isn't he almost as good? Almost, maybe? Okay, Ruby that... Emerald Green. 
I'm sorry to say, but you, you're putting me to shame with what you're doing here, okay? But done this. We can just cycle. Kind of a cycling party. Okay, two manas. Well, I do like getting the Ebherd down. Man, if this guy wasn't a human soldier, it would be kind of nice to mute it. Man, is there, wait, there's a cat which has double strike, I'm pretty sure that thing can mute it on. Oh, Captain Ebherd, oh, you spoiled me. <laughs> yep, go in, big damage. Big damage. Big damage, big damage, big, big, big damage, big damage. Now, Captain Ebhart, can't you just clone? Oh my god, think about this. You clone this five times and they just draw a lot of cards and everything is free. That's pretty good. That is really good. Pretty, pretty good. Now we have to do a deck level. Now we don't have any mythic wild cards though. Don't have any mythic wild nerds. Don't have them. Hmm. What happens if you... Sp let's specialize in white, I think is the best specialization, if I remember correctly. Activate this. Specialize, so let's see here. Conjure a duplicate of a random creature from the opponent. Nah. Seek another... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think we'll ship the lies out. Let's see here. Get us random dude. Get the priest! <laughs> okay, hexproof, that touch. Indestructible. There it is. There it is. There it was. Okay. Smack a dank. Dank a doon. Scabahoon. So we do it. Okay. I'll say. Emerald green. I think Lay Cell also. Like, Lay Cell, Priest of Possibilities, plus that muted dude for four. I think that's what I've learned from this thing that it's really good. Maybe even the Stripe River Winder is fine, just to have more chance of hitting Hexproof, because Hexproof is really good in combination with Indestructible. Okay, what is gonna talk about? Ebhart? No, that is not going to work. <laughs> Do we get another priest though? That is fine. It's kind of clear. Whatever. Whatever. Didn't, didn't even want anything else, okay? Indestructible. Put down this. Normal. Normal mode on this. And we can just smack in with, let's see, you. Uh, yeah, we'll do like this. And... Nah, maybe not you. <laughs> do it like this. Death touch... No, 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 no. No, no, we fool him like this. We'll do this, we'll do face with this, and then we'll cycle the Titan of the Rex, which is going to give this... Uh, trample so that he comes through with one damage. Death touch trample! Oh! That's how we do it. <laughs> Best cycling of Titanodrex I ever saw was that one, okay? Leonide War Leader. Mm hmm. Trample Indestructible. Uh, let's see, do we return Titanoth Rex? Or do we return this guy instead? Because you kind of cycle this, right? I'll cycle this. I think this is better. So we'll find another dude. Uh, I think we return the expert dude. And play would be us. And do we go for double strike on. Let's see here. This guy is already good. Uh, I think we'll do like this. Ah, that's good. Vary up our threats a little bit. And that's damage, sir. Double strike. Double strike. Schnabel hike. Stop! 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 Okay, sounds thing. We bushnerd. I think this is a mulligan, right? Because you have to cycle everything. Maybe this deck is just uh, super amazingly overpowered. We gotta get good hands, okay? Two manas. Search for Asgan there. Why do you pronounce it like that? I don't know. And I thought it would be funny and then. Oh! Flying Death Touch, indestructible. Yep. Couple of abilities there. Nobody's had any real good way of dealing with indestructible uh, death, not death touch, indestructible textbook yet. No one so far. Uh, well, cycle you. Following. 
And Petanyu. And next turn we have Lebez Lenez, I think, with the Salt Task Demolisher. Being a pretty good mutator. Yeah. <laughs> Death Touch. Death Touch Trample. Death Touch Trample is good. I think this is the best evasion you can get on this guy. Death Touch Trample, also. It's just. It's just insanely good. Okay, my turn. Yeah, this is just good. This is just good. This is just good, okay? <laughs> yep, that thing. Or maybe you should have destroyed one of his lands when I think about it. Okay. But I like having a 3-2 there. In case he makes a sacrifice, which he probably doesn't, but if he does. Liar Bells. That healer's Hulk, though. Okay, reality ship. Let's reconfigure that for it to be a threat. And uh, yeah, he's in trouble. <laughs> he's a little bit in trouble now. Play will be us, and can neuters go on you? Yes. Big damage. Oh, wait, so you should put the bomb on this. <laughs> I'm a greedy bastard. Okay. Search for Ascata. Huh? More malice. Tashar, okay, this might be a cool combo, I guess, eh? But, 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 Hello, Daniel! And you are? It's -a me, the YouTube algorithm. And... Well, what are you doing here? I'm just here to take all of the views! No, the... Those are my views! Oh, I can explain to you, senor. You see, you have subs 0% uh, and non-subs 100%. Uh, That's why you can take all your views. <laughs> I guess it's time that you uh, check out a little, little thing down there.